dirt, soil, the rim of the world, the skin of the earth, the ground on which we stand. It feeds all life, providing a foundation for the food chain. Rock is reduced to sand, silt, and clay, and then filled with organic matter to make this material one of the most integral parts of the ecosystem. Steel beams, asphalt, bricks, concrete. They make buildings, roads, bridges, dams. These feats of engineering make up our modern world. Grains, they make up your cereals, your bread, your pasta. They are a crop harvested from a farmer's field that travels all the way to your table. Mining, pharmaceuticals, oil and gas. What is a common link with all these substances and products? An engineer might respond with DEM. DEM stands for discrete element method, a way of simulating the behavior of separate individual particles of various materials and substances. Run on one or several processors, this extensive calculation computes how particles such as a granular material like sand will behave under certain circumstances. A code defining the parameters and the amount of the material is written and run, and the processor calculates any number of computations you have written in your code. Velocity, shear strength, cohesion, friction, and other forces of the particles can all be determined. Along with the particles, 3D STL files can be inserted by the code, allowing for the particles to interact with complex CAD models that can represent machines, structures, or other boundaries. Using all the information defined by the code parameters and the STL files, the numerical values of the forces acting on the particles are generated. These results can then be converted into a graphic example of the particle behavior using data analysis and visualization application programs, such as Paraview, which is an integral tool in many national laboratories, universities, and industries. Using Paraview, flaws in the code and needed changes are easily discovered, as the program's visualization of the simulation results directly parallel the geometry in the code. DEM is an efficient, economical way to predict how a product or substance will act under certain conditions. It saves companies money by allowing them to test their product without wasting the actual product, as well as showing them design flaws in their machinery before they put in the financial resources and effort of building it. DEM is also a key tool in civil engineering, providing a way to predict how granular materials will react under forces and stresses, such as buildings, bridges, roads, dams, or tunnels. It also provides a way to test how such materials will behave under difficult to recreate conditions, such as the ocean floor, or easily measure the effects of erosion over time in structures containing granular materials. The discrete element method was invented in 1971 by Peter Kundel and has become a powerful tool in engineering. The next time you drive over a bridge, refill your car with gasoline, eat a sandwich, or walk into a building, Remember that engineers using this amazing method of simulation were probably involved at one point or another in the construction and production of these structures and items.